Hi, I'm Dr. Cameron Van Eck, a researcher with the Dunlap Institute for Astronomy and Astrophysics. My research specialization is cosmic magnetism as studied using radio astronomy. There were two things that came up early in my childhood that got me hooked on space. The first was Star Trek. I had access to two VHS cassettes of old Star Trek episodes and I started watching them when I was very young and I wasn't really able to understand what was going on, but I understood one thing, space was cool. And the second part came a couple years later when I was about eight or nine, I think, where there were two comets that were very, very visible uh, in sort of early spring, late winter. And so I have this wonderful memory of a late winter's evening. It was calving season on the farm where I was raised. And I was allowed to stay up late one night with my mother who always did the late night check for, for new calves. I was allowed to stay up late and go out with her. And it was a gorgeous, beautiful, clear night. And this comet was so, so visible. And that really cemented it for me. Space was cool. So originally, through, through most of high school, I actually had my heart set on being a computer technician, since that was, that was a job that I knew people, people in that job, and I kind of knew what it was about, and I was good with computers. And then one day in high school, I had this random meeting in the hallway with the, the high school counselor, who said, hey, are you thinking about university programs since your grades are doing really well? And I hadn't been thinking about that. And so I started going onto university websites, seeing what was out there, what, what kind of things could I could do. And I saw one of the nearby universities had an astrophysics program. And I saw that and somehow I just said, yeah, that, I'm gonna do that. And so I did, I, I went off, I enrolled in the university and started doing it and it started going well and I managed to start getting involved in research projects and that was really fun. And so I've just kept doing it ever since. So I was born and raised in Alberta and I did my, my undergraduate and my master's degree at the University of Calgary there. And then after that, I went and I did my PhD at a small university in the Netherlands, Radboud University in the city of Nijmegen, which I had never heard of before, uh, before I went there. So I, I did my PhD there over four years and that was a really fantastic program. And after I graduated there, I moved back to Calgary briefly for a few months, did, did a little bit of work there, and then I got a position here in Toronto working here at the Dunlap Institute, where I've been for the last four years. And quite shortly, I'll be moving on to my next position, which is a research position at the Australian National University in Canberra, Australia. So there's a lot of different things that people can do depending on their specific interests. For example, people who are really interested in the astronomy, the dark sky, the observing part of the process. There are a lot of different amateur astronomy clubs and observing events and, and nights and such like. Basically anywhere in the world you are, there's bound to be an amateur astronomer club doing deep sky nights and such. And so getting involved in that, buying a telescope, trying it out, that can be a lot of fun. And there's a lot of community support for that. For people who are maybe more interested in the science aspects of it, there are a lot of different citizen science projects out there. Two that I'm aware of are Galaxy Zoo, which is a project that trains people to classify galaxies that have been observed in, in survey data to be able to work out what kind of galaxy it is and to be, be able to build catalogs like that. Another similar project I'm familiar with is Radio Galaxy Zoo, which does the same thing, but with radio astronomy data classifying radio galaxies. 
For people with maybe more of an interest in electronics or in software, something that I've been involved in a lot is amateur radio astronomy, where people can build their own radio telescopes and learn how to connect them to their computers to be able to start collecting radio data and analyze it to learn a little bit about the radio sky. And so I've seen some really fantastic projects on fairly small budgets to build radio telescopes to be able to observe hydrogen gas in the galaxy and measure the rotation of the galaxy. Yeah, there's many to choose from. I think my absolute favorite would be the problem-solving aspect of the job. The fact that most days I am sitting down and trying to solve a technical challenge that quite possibly no one in the world has been able to solve before. Maybe they've never tackled it. And so sitting down, working through it, and reaching a solution, whether that's a mathematical solution or a new bit of software or a new technique, is incredibly satisfying for me.